Woodstar Products offers custom stalls for every barn and every barn style. Woodstar offers top quality design, construction, and customer service for every stall and barn need you can come up with. Custom built for you. Design your own stall with their new system online at woodstarproducts.com. Check them out. That's Woodstar Products. Gooseberry Natural Feed was created to provide healthy products, basic nutrition, and enhance the digestive system and process in all equines. Gooseberry has certified organic ingredients for a total health feed. To learn more about Gooseberry Natural Feed, contact them at gooseberrynaturalfeed.net. Hi, this is Wayne Williams of Speaking of Horses, and boy, have we got a treat for you on our show today. We are at Temple Farms in Wadsworth, Illinois. We're on the extreme north side of Chicago. Temple Farms is the largest privately owned herd of Lipizzans anywhere in the world. Of course, the Spanish Riding School in Vienna, those are owned by the government. But Temple Smith brought these Lipizzans here in the late 1950s. The herd is now approximately 100 right here at Temple Farms. They are doing a benefit tonight for the Midwest Therapeutic Riding uh, Group out of southern Wisconsin. And we're going to look at uh, the Lipizzans. We're going to see some of their performance. We're going to meet some of the therapeutic riders that are the beneficiary of this. So please, we got a great show and some great Lipizzans, some great horsemanship. And the history of the Lipizzan goes back centuries. So stay with us and join us. Let's go inside and see what's going on with the Temple Lipizzans on Speaking of Horses. Well, here we are inside the barns at Temple Farms, and Sue Ott is my guest, and Sue is riding tonight in the quad drill. So uh, tell us uh, your background in horses. You said you're originally from Virginia. What got you to the level of riding in the quad drill here with uh, Temple Farms? Good question, right? Lots of riding, lots of instruction, constant instruction, and very good horses. Yeah, we, we got a tour of the stable here a bit ago, realizing that this was built in the 1920s. What a, what a history in this facility. Oh, yeah, lots of history here. Yeah. It's amazing. It's, a, it's an honor to actually be here and amongst you know, the horses and the history that's here. Probably one of the more storied Lipizzan uh, herds and facilities anywhere outside of the Spanish Riding School in Vienna. Yes, yes, definitely. So, so you're riding, are you doing something else besides quadrille tonight? Not this evening, no. What, what do you do otherwise? I start these horses. Oh. I sit on them first. <laughs> <laughs> so they drew short straw, you drew the short straw, you get to get on first, right? No, no, I, that's, it's actually, I specialize in that, I really enjoy doing that. I get a lot of, of from it, from the horses, I establish a really nice relationship with them. Um, it's pleasurable for me. Well, you can't not be around horses and not have a pleasurable experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had horses since I was a kid. I grew up in Indianapolis and mm -hmm. and uh, still have them, although it, the mounting block looks more attractive now than it did years ago. <laughs> but <laughs> but it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's quite a thing. So the performance tonight is for the therapeutic riding group? Yes, yes. So it's quite an honor to, to, um, for them to have you help them in such a, a presentation as this. Because, and I understand part of the show tonight, which we're going to film and you're going to see later on here, uh, involves some of the therapeutic students in the arena with yes. you. I'm not positive what they're going to present it to us, but it, I know that they brought in horses, I believe it was yesterday, in the morning. And I haven't seen any of the students or anything, but I'm anxious to see them too. It's our honor. Well, it's it's our uh, honor to be here. I mean, I only live an hour from here, but I have never been to this facility. So uh, we're going to really enjoy the show, and, and we'll be watching for you in the quadro. I'll be the first one in. I will make sure I get that on camera. Okay. Sue, thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Enjoy the show. Oh, we will. We will. So we got more coming right here on Speaking of Horses. 
Well, right now we're speaking to Ashley Vogel. Now, Ashley, what are, you, are you riding quadrille tonight, or what are you doing? Yes, I am. You are. Yes. So what is your history here? How long have you been riding at Temple? I have been here since June. Um, I am the working student to our director of training, Linda Leffingwell, and it's been a blast. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you from originally? I'm from Lake Forest, about 25 minutes south here. So, so you are a Chicago area native then, right? Absolutely, yeah. And a Cubs fan, right? Occasionally, yes. <laughs> I was just listening to the Cubs game coming in, and, and just for your information, they were behind. So, okay. yeah, at any rate, <laughs> uh, so y your love of Lipizzans or just your love of horses got you here? Love of horses, love of dressage, love of history, really. And there's there's not a, a more historic breed out there than the Lipizzan. I mean, you go back to the to the you know centuries ago in Lapizia, and then move through the the great story in World War II with Patton, you know, helping to save them for Podolsky. It's uh, there's history here you can't match. Correct. That's absolutely true. Whenever you mix horses with people, you also get a very very good good run, right? Correct. Always. So, besides the quadrille, anything else tonight that you're riding in? I will be assisting with the airs. Um, basically, I'm the handler, so everything goes smoothly. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, stay with us on Speaking of Horses. Another one of our performers tonight from uh, Temple Farms, Temple Lipizzans, is Lydia Nerick. Now, uh, how long have you been riding here, Lydia? Since September of last year. September of last year, okay. So what brought you here? What's your background in horses? Um, actually, I was an engineer before I came here, and I wanted to do this my whole life, so I finally quit my job and came here. But I'll bet you you were always messing with horses even when you were an engineer, right? Yeah, I've always had horses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because to get to this level that quickly would take, you know, a little bit more of, <laughs> of a background. But uh, what, a, what a great facility, and just being here and looking over the barns and everything, you've got to just be excited being a part of this. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. It's a great experience. And we've been calling it a quadrille, but I guess tonight actually it's a presentation of your young stallions, so it's not quite to the to the upper level movements, but it's still in that form of a quadrille. So uh, you're riding that tonight with the other gals we've been talking to, and anything else you're involved in tonight? I am also helping assist with the airs. The airs above the ground? Good. Well, Lydia, thank you, and we will see you later on. Thank you. Well, right now we have Eliza Artizoni, and uh, well, explain to us a bit. I know you're doing the Young Stallions tonight, not technically the full quadrille, so explain to us what that is. Okay. Um, what we do is we, uh, we bring in the Young Stallions, and we pair them up. So we have um, four stallions that are working together, and they'll pro progress in their training. We start them out and we do a, a simple routine. They get used to working together. And then over the years, as their training progresses, um, that group will, will progress into their own quadrille. So they learn to work together. They learn, they're like uh, partners through their whole life yeah. training to, to do the quadrille. So this is one of those pairing or bringing those stallions together and just getting them all accustomed to everything that Correct. this is about. Correct. So this is their first performance, and so, um, you know, they'll, they'll experience this, you know, all together and bond and develop trust with us and with each other, and, and then, right. yeah. And to, to those of us that are... Uh, only moderately knowledgeable, we're going to enjoy it anyway, right? <laughs> we won't know where the miscues are, right? We'll absolutely enjoy it. <laughs> well, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Humane manufacturing mats reduce bedding costs. They cushion animals' joints and muscles. Mats will not absorb moisture and animal fluids. You know, all of our recycled rubber mats and rubber floor products are made using only the best of the best, clean, green, and recycled. Antibacterial and antifungal agents are added during the manufacturing process. Guaranteed not to curl or buckle as you see here. Rubber mats use the lock tough system. Use humane manufacturing stall mats for all of your needs. Well, you know, I've been talking to all the good-looking women. Finally, we have a gentleman here, and the this one and the one and only, Victor Pozo, right? 
Yes, sir. And you tonight with the uh, temple will be doing the airs above the ground? Yes, sir. That's what we'll be doing, the airs above the ground. Now, describe that maneuver to the people that, uh, that don't know what it is and, and how it was actually developed and why it was developed. Well, classically speaking, there were three airs above the ground. The first of which was the lavad, which is where the horse sits down on his hind legs and holds himself in a position for a moment of time. Second maneuver will be the corbet, where the horse rears upon his hind legs, hopping forward in a succession of two to three jumps. And finally, we'll do the capriole. Capriole is where the horse brings his entire body into the air and strokes out violently with his hind feet. These maneuvers were originally medieval battlefield maneuvers that have now turned into an art that we practice here at Temple Farms. Yeah, it is quite an art. I, I love to see a, a really good airs above the ground. I just, I, mean, I, I don't care what you do or don't know about the maneuver. Right. You've got to be taken back when you see that happen. Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, it's, it's quite spectacular. That and the Lipizzan almost has a singular talent for this type of work. They've been bred for over 450 years, specifically for classical dressage and the airs above the ground. Well, the whole history of the Lipizzan in, in itself is, is tremendous. And because I'm involved in announcing at a lot of various horse expos, I, I read the history of Lipizzans over and over again when they're performing. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, you know, <clears throat> to come here, I've seen many different groups, you know, come under the uh, National Association, which I think is in Anderson, Indiana, if I'm not mistaken. So. But, you know, to come here where it's really done top line, <laughs> is another step completely. Of course. Well, our hopes, of course, is to emulate what they do at the Spanish Riding School in Vienna, which, of course, made the Lipizzans famous worldwide, along with the rescue of uh, General Patton back in the uh, 30s in, or in World War II. The thing about Temple Farms that makes us extraordinarily unique is the fact that this is the only facility in the entire world that both breeds, raises, trains and presents these horses all within the same piece of property. It's amazing. and I've lived close for, for years and I just have not been on the facility. So. Well, that's a shame. Victor, thank you. Pleasure. All right. Now, we're going to go inside. We're going to see some of the performance and we're going to watch some of the therapeutic riding kids participate as well. So stay with us right here on Speaking of Horses. And the first time we put him on the horse, that's what we saw. Big smiles. 
And Mason has just been a delight. How long has he been with, let's see, 2008? He's been riding with us eight years. Wow. <laughs> He's like, really, Mom, that long? <laughs> Mason's a little delight. Um, what we find with a lot of our kids is about certain volunteers fall in love with him and um, with all of our kids, but Mason kind of has his little cult following of women that really like him. Well, again, we're here at Temple Farms, and we're here for the uh, fundraiser that Temple Farms and the Lipizzans are doing for the Midwest Therapeutic Writing Program. My guest right now is Carly Rengett, and Carly is the PATH Writer of the Year, right? Yes. So what does that mean? Um, it means that I was nominated by my horse therapist, and out of all of the people that were nominated, I was chosen. And that is the National Writer of the Year, right? Yes. Yeah, and that's quite an honor. Yeah. yeah. So what uh, disciplines do you ride when you're riding? Um, there's all different ones. Do you ride English? Do you ride Western? Um, I think Western, yeah. Western? Okay. So what, what's your favorite part of riding? What, what game or what thing, activity do you do riding that you like the most? Um, probably just getting to be on the horse and I know it rains a lot so yeah. it's nice to be like in control of the horse. So you live in Racine? Yes. Beautiful Racine, Wisconsin and you go to the, how often do you go to the program? Once a week, every Tuesday. Oh wow. And to be a rider of the year or nationally for PATH which is the national organization for you know the therapeutic riding group, that's quite an honor. Yes, that is a very big honor. So tell us tonight now, we're going to see, um, you're not riding tonight, I understand, but some of your uh, friends and everything that do participate are riding in, in and out of performances around the Lipizzans, right? Yep. Well, that'll be exciting. Well, it's really nice to talk to you. It's nice talking to you, too. Now, we're going to watch some of the performance, so uh, let's go out and see some of the Midwest Therapeutic Riding Group performing, and then we'll, we'll move on into the Lipizzans. Thank you, Carly. You're welcome. All right. Thanks. More coming right here on Speaking of Horses. You noticed um, David's part of a, a family that's very supportive. Every time David comes and rides, he comes with a fan club. The lounge is full of dotages. So many of our kids, this is David's thing. And, you know, his siblings have, not necessarily, but siblings usually have soccer, baseball, whatever. And then the children with special needs a lot of times don't have their own thing. For so many of our kids, this is their own thing. And, um, for example, um, Madeline wanted me to mention this. A few years ago, um, we went to the Appaloosa World Championships. And that was so cool. They had a challenge rider class down in Oklahoma. Every, they didn't have to be on an Appaloosa. They didn't have to wear show clothes. And every single one of them was going to win a world championship trophy. You didn't know you all won, did you, Madeline? Um, so I thought, wow, that's really cool. That would be really fun to go to, but it's in Oklahoma in July. We're not hauling horses down to Oklahoma. And a few people heard about it, and lo and behold, people that were showing there said, well, you can borrow our horses. Wow, that's cool. So then the next thing, it's like, okay, how are we going to get to Oklahoma? Boy, that could be hard. Next thing we know, somebody donated their private layer jet and flew the kids down there. Um, um, each, uh, we took four riders, and each one took a parent. Madeline and I, and her dad, and Richie Greenberg and I had to fly commercial. Everyone else got the layer jet. <laughs> do you want to do it again, David? You're too strong, David. 
Um, leading his horse is Brittany. Brittany Colin. Colin, you guys have to hear this. Oh, oh my goodness, he is showing off. Do you hear that, David? People are telling me they love that. They love you. <laughs> Andus professional lightweight, versatile grooming tools for a best in show finish with every stroke. With Andus Power Stroke, you have a heavy duty, high speed, power groom for professional results every time you clip. Also, get great horse grooming tips from Dana Boyd Miller and from Andis. Check us out at andis.com, also on Facebook and Twitter. We'd like to make your dreams come true at active riding trips. Whether you're an active horseman, avid horseman, or part-time horseman, you can enjoy active riding trips. You can ride the Gold Rush ride in the mountains of California near the Gold Rush Find, the hills of New England and Vermont, Virginia fox hunting, Tuscany to Ireland, and to South America. It's all there for you. You'll be treated like a king or a queen at ActiveRidingTrips.com. Get a hold of them, make your dreams come true, and make memories.
Speaking of horses is made possible by Equisentials Horse Care Products for products developed by a horse person for horse people and horse use. Please check out Equisentials Horse Products. They have all the products you need to perfectly care for your horse's coat and physical appearance and well-being. Equisentials.